what is going on everybody it is your boy Ansel Armstrong back again and today we're going to be talking about the new player of the month program coming out here in MLB the show 20 this week it drops on June 11th so if you're watching this just a couple days away it's dropping on Thursday June 11th they're dropping it early on us this month and just like last month is going to be I believe all the cards are dropping all at one time personally uh i've been a huge fan of the way they've done player of the month this year you've never been able to really get uh player of the month cards easily in the past and now they're handing them out you can get them all for free you can take advantage of it it is a great way but even more so than all of that even more so than the fact that you get the dd and the correa so far and the other free player of the months as well even more so than that <clears throat> you can make an incredible amount of stubs from these player programs if you work the market properly when doing so let's chat about that so as you probably know by now when you're coming in and you're looking at these monthly player programs we'll look at april here as the first one and we take a look let's go to stage one here and we take a look at our missions we have the exchange mission it's right behind me you can't actually see it but it's exchange nationals and first baseman for thirty-five thousand worth of exchange same goes down diamondbacks and starting pitchers whenever we get the corbin the list goes on and on there's exchanges tied to each of these same can be said for may as well when we look here at stage one we have the giants and short stops exchange there and that gives you some progress 10 points to brandon crawford so if you wanted to get it quickly done you do the exchanges you do the moments and you're done with it you have your card locked up you and you're on to the next stage now as a no money spent player i definitely don't recommend doing the exchanges but that doesn't stop a lot of other people from doing so and that is where we are going to come in and take advantage of the market now before we dive too far in i do want to give a quick shout out to our twitch channel you can find the link down in the description below and if you're watching this this video the day that it comes out will actually be live on twitch going over some of the things we're talking about in this video in more in depth and going in with real practice we have 530,000 subs we're currently sitting on i'm gonna be going through and investing those in the market for the june player of the month so you can follow along live if you want to or if you have any questions after watching this video want some more detail be sure to hit me up on twitch link down in the description below we got an awesome community always helping people out get more stubs get, get get whatever cards they want awesome awesome community there be sure to check it out so how we're going to utilize these exchanges to make stubs is that whenever these drop we're going to see a huge shift in the market for these cards needed for exchanges specifically with the first two cards after that uh there's a little bit of a drop off i mean last time we saw a bit of a bump with the reds but really we're looking at the first card and the second card so what we're gonna want to do is attempt to guess and accurately predict and invest ahead of time in cards that could be used for exchanges for whoever the first stage one card is for the june player of the month and whoever the stage two card is for the june player of the month and in doing so we could triple the amount of stubs that we invest let's take a couple quick looks at examples before i get into some uh possibilities for this month let's take a quick look at some examples from the may player of the month program and how those impacted the market so first example here buster posey obviously you need to exchange giants and there's not a whole lot of giants of high overall to choose from which definitely uh extrapolated this one a lot and people love it when i say extrapolated <laughs> It definitely affected that one a lot and made it, you know, worse than it would have been uh, or better if you invest him. Let's take a look at Buster Posey. So right now we can see he's selling for 690 subs. I'm just covering it up there. Is his buy now. 506 is a sell now. If we tab over to the marketplace, we can see that's about where he was on the 21st of May. And you could have come in and buy them for about 550 at 525 subs. However, as we can see there on the 22nd of may the day that the player of the month program dropped for may we have his price going up to 1500 sub sell now 1900 sub buy now on average that is some insane subs if you had a hundred of them 
that you invested in at 500 subs and you turn around and you sell those for 1700 subs that is more return for your amount invested you're gonna find in anywhere else in the game you're legitimately just printing stubs and there's more examples too let's take a look at jeff samarja as well a 77 so not as high up his price went from 320 to 1200 uh let's look take a look at hunter pence here we'll go down the line a little bit his price went from about 250 to a thousand right and then let's go back in and let's actually of course that brandon crawford that first one was a short stop so you need to exchange short stops as well and we can see golds are going to have impact as well let's look at tatis great example great example here on the 21st he was selling for 1100 subs and then on the 23rd selling for around 3000 subs by now again close to tripling your investment on a card and as we can see on tatis he's down to a thousand sub quick sell value right now if you can pick up a gold card for a thousand subs and quick sell them uh and, and turn around and after a couple of days he's up to three thousand subs it's an insane investment that you're not going to find anywhere else let's find another short stop right here who's got short stop i don't believe you can see even even a card like trevor story is going to have an impact even a diamond level card not as much obviously we had his buy now floating around quick sell value a little bit before probably close to uh around six thousand and then the day it drops he's up to ten thousand so not quite getting as much bang for your buck back but you're still making an incredible profit margin there so you could see where this can be extremely valuable now i know what you're saying and we all everybody knows about this now everybody knows what's coming well we knew what was coming after the april player of the month as well and in may we still had the similar impacts we th the same thing happened in april we were able to invest in those cards and it went up the same thing's now going to happen for may especially if we don't find out about the cards beforehand which right now we have not had any leaks and the show has been uh not leaking anything out about the player of the month so far for june like they did for may so if we don't get any leaks if we don't get any hints then your investment is going to be even more potential to turn around it's the same thing with any other investment even though people know it and know that it's coming there's still a lot of opportunities to make a ton of stubs so now that we've kind of looked at a couple examples from last time let's take a look at my predictions of what cards we could be seeing in those first two card slots again that's all we're talking about we're not talking about the lightning or the 90 overalls or even the high 80 overall card we're looking at the first two card slots let's take a look at some examples of what those could be so the first card we're going to be looking at here would be jesus aguilar from mlb the show 18 as we can see he's an 85 overall diamond so that's about what we're expecting in that first uh in that first tier the 85 86 maybe they bump it up and go to 87 but they're gonna adjust player overalls a little bit we're not gonna get exactly sim the exact same cards from previous time they adjust them just a hair but it will be the show a team had the same rating system as we have here in mlb 20 so an 85 diamond an 85 diamond those were laid there and so i think jesus aguilar right now is probably the odds on favorite to be the first card of the bunch um he'd be a pretty cool card he has great power he plays first base uh not a great fielder but would be a decent bench back so i think similar to dietrich last time he was a fan favorite everyone kind of wanted him they're going to give us some of those fan favorite type cards and that's why i think we're going to be seeing jesus aguilar in one of the first two spots so when looking at aguilar the question is of course who do you invest in so we have a visail garcia he would obviously be the natural choice uh 79 overall he's currently selling for 646 sell now um that's a bit higher than he's usually been usually he's closer around 600 so it's probably people starting to get an idea that it could be aguilar there's been a couple content creators put their guesses out there but even still if you pick up aguilar for 646 stubs and you sell them for 2000 that's an incredible investment and of course i think there's some other options as well you have brandon woodruff he's selling for 613 stubs again higher than what he usually sells for these cards are up a little bit and eh, 613 is a bit more average for woodruff so i'd probably be picking up woodruff over a visail but of course by the time you come and look at this it's going to be completely different we also have locane here as well he's selling for 1113 stubs um more than he usually is he's usually around that 1030 mark pretty consistent so again another situation where 
people could be figuring out that maybe we're getting low uh maybe we're getting aguilar for that first player and they're starting to pick up on that and try to come in here and buy some so definitely the sooner you come and invest the better and more stubs you can potentially make now of course you do have to get a little bit creative as well when you're looking at things and not just be looking at brewers but you can also be looking at first baseman so joey Votto, right around that quick sell value right here at a thousand and eighty stubs so you know if he jumps up to 3k you're looking really solid and you're only losing potentially 80 subs total not to mention that at 1400 for Votto, it's just a good flip as it is and then there's no 79 overall uh first baseman so then you're coming in here and you're looking at guys that are 78 overall so guys like hoskins edwin and murphy could all jump up because those are the next best options after looking at the gold players the next potential option we're seeing here and again it's another one that i feel decent about that it's going to be one of the first two i see this card as more in the number two slot most likely but it's going to be your dan alvarez so uh the 2019 your damn player of the month card from june a pretty awesome card and if you've ever used his gold version he has an insane swing beautiful swing one of the best ones in the game would be a cool card to see and i feel pretty confident that we are going to see this now the only thing about this one is they could boost it up and put it a little bit later in the program or they could potentially nerf it down a little bit bring it at the start or they could just have the first card of this program be an 87 overall now that we're getting a little bit later into the year it'll be interesting to see what they could potentially do with this one now one of the things about the alvarez card is that for the most part astros players are pretty cheap you can see uh both alvarez himself and michael brantley uh, are at quick sell value presley's a quick sell value card and if you're able to come in if it is alvarez you're able to come in and pick up a bunch of alvarez's and brantley's at a thousand subs each uh these cards are going to way 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 go up in price they're gonna be sitting closer to 3k and you can triple your subs essentially not including tax in doing so and then when you look at the uh the the silvers as to say not a whole lot of options only the 276s um at 209 and 207 still not bad buys if it does end up being uh alvarez and the astros are needed for the exchange you can come in and 209 they'll go up not quite to the level at some of the other high tier high tier silvers but again if i'm looking at alvarez i'm looking at these golds at quick sell there's no risk for me if i pick these up at quick sell value because worst case i just quick sell them uh, and i lose hardly any stubs best case they triple in price and i'm going home fat and happy now the last one we're going to look at here is a bit of a wild card from mlb 17 when the rating scale was a little bit different back then 88 overall was still a gold uh back then so if you were to transfer him and it would be 19 uh zanito would probably be close to the 83 84 overall range instead of the 88 but they could easily uh and the show could easily adjust his overall and so my kind of wild card pick is gonna be mike zanino i don't believe that we've had a catcher so far from the first two player of the month programs uh we do already have the gary sanchez classic card in the game but we don't have a true catcher from any of the other player of the month programs so i think um i wouldn't be too surprised if they come in with mike zanino i think it'd be a really cool car zanino obviously uh he has really good power decent pop he'd be a fun card to see so my my wild card uh choice here and guess here for one of those first two spots is gonna be mike zanino so now when looking at a potential uh zanino card similar to the giants last time in which they didn't have any golds or best card that option that we have here on the mariners is mitch hanniger nef seager tom murphy and those are your three silvers so if we do have a, a zanino card and there's only three silvers to really go after for uh exchange purposes you're gonna see these shoot up as well as catchers as well would be a good option just across the board now again i don't feel too super confident that we're getting the zanino card but i just wanted to throw out a little wild card option there if someone wants to maybe take a bit risk with their investment and maybe go for something a little bit different than what everybody else is going for i think zanino could be a really good option to do so now another card people have been throwing out is liam hendrix and i i agree i wouldn't be surprised to see liam hendrix at all i think he's a little bit more later in the program same uh with a guy 
uh, maybe like Lance Lynn close and Chase Anderson closer to that high 80 90 plus overall spot that's going to be filled so we know we're going to get the 85 to 86 the 86 to 87 spot we have the 88 spot the 90 plus spot and then the diamond spot or the lightning spot I should say so we know that there's five spots to fill we're really looking just at those first two so I think guys like Hendrix or Lance Lynn or DJ LeMayhew would be later on in the program as opposed to these first two spots so that does it for today's video i hope you found this video helpful and i hope it's opened your eyes to the potential of investing for player of the month i'm gonna be investing quite a bit into player of the month hopefully we can hit a couple lightnings in the bottle uh hit a couple investments properly and make a ton of stubs in doing so be sure if you enjoyed this video to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of the stub making stub tip methods personally uh even more so than flipping this year i found that investments are way more beneficial and i come away with way more subs from investing cards uh investing into cards as opposed to just straight flipping cards on the market i find it both more enjoyable and i make a ton more stuff so if you want to see more videos like this you want to keep up uh this series and be providing whatever investment tips we can come up with definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comment section below what do you think is coming out with the june player of the month who do you think the cards are going to be and uh in addition to that are you planning on throwing out any investments for the june player of the month and as always one last reminder we are streaming on twitch most nights will be live on twitch link down in the description below we'll be investing in our player of the month cards live on twitch so if you want to some more insight follow along there be sure to check it out my twitter is down in the description as below as well my dms open if you ever have any questions need some more help about anything be sure to hit me up on twitter as well but until next time i'll see y'all later